At 46 overall, Zhao Z is the lowest rated player in FIFA 23. But today we're going to take him from the bottom of world football to a Ballon d'Or winner. So here is Zhao Z in the Chinese Super League. A name that I'm sure none of you have heard about for good reason. I mean, he's 46 overall and his potential is just 58. Oh, we've got a mammoth challenge ahead of us today. So for me, the first few seasons are about building the base. I want Zhao Zi, who is at the bottom of the squad, to get some dynamic potential into him. And I also want to build the squad up around him so that they are just feeding him goals and assists. I'm also going to convert Zhao Zi into a striker. It only takes eight weeks, but it just makes sense to do this in terms of stat padding, getting that potential up. And there's purely just less competition at the striker role. Also, I've decided to make Chavi our manager. We're here to avenge Chavi for never having won a Ballon d'Or. If he can help guide a youngster into Ballon d'Or superstardom, then that's going to help him sleep at night. I'm transfer listing both of the strikers here, Zhang Wei and Ren Wei, to get them out of the club. Zhao Zi can be the only striker when I'm in charge. And look, our finances, they're not great. So for me, I am going to be making the free agents list our best friend in this video. We've got ourselves a new goalkeeper, a new center back, a very good center midfielder in Ryan Thomas. Let's shout out the Kiwis. But most importantly, a new center attacking midfielder. I want this Laszlo guy to just feed Zhao Zay just ball after ball after ball. We're in the stat padding industry. Wait a minute. So, okay, cool. Yeah, we transfer listed Ren Wei because we want him out of here as a striker. But I've just noticed he is listed as a striker and a center back. I don't think I have ever seen that in FIFA history. What? Maybe I should just convert him to a center back for squad depth reasons. But we're going to have to forget about that idea because he's off to Dalian Pro. And I've just realized we're not going to be able to sell Zhang Wei because of squad depth reasons. Like the transfer talks are going to continuously break down because we have no other strikers. So I'm just going to straight up release him from the squad for 65,000 pounds. And a good sign already. Zhao Zay has gone up one overall. Not only do I want Zhao Z to be a Ballon d'Or winner, but I want to help make Haibei whilst we're here the best team in China. But since we started off in the Chinese Super League, we're actually in February now. The opening window was January. So I'll check in with you guys halfway through the season, which is also kind of the end of the season. It's, it's a weird calendar. Stop the simulation, stop the simulation. Important moment right here. Zhao Zay, right winger to a striker and it gets him up to 48 overall. Now I'm just gonna work on getting him five star weak foot and five star skill moves. Yeah, halfway through the season, we're not doing good. We might have grown plus four overall, but we haven't scored a single goal or assist in 11 appearances. At least we've got five star weak foot. Let's go and get ourselves five star skills. I've been simulating every single game manually to make sure we actually start. And let me tell you, Ryan Thomas has been absolutely scoring goals for fun. We might not have scored a goal yet, but at least we're getting yellow Ooh. cards. Also, no surprise, we didn't win the Ballon d'Or. That goes to Erling Haaland. So here we are at the end of season number one. We actually managed to get ourselves two goals and one assist. So it's improvement from the first half of the season. But the thing that I'm very happy about is plus six growth. Very interested to see how our dynamic player potential improves or decreases. Also, we finished eighth in the Chinese Super League this season. So there's still a long way for us to go if we want to be China's best team. So kicking off season two, our potential remains at 58, but that is no real surprise. Dynamic player potential won't kick in until next season or the season after. But to be honest, we can't expect dynamic player potential to do its thing when we're only scoring two goals a year. So let's bump up those rookie numbers. We had to improve this starting 11 with free agents again. Got to keep climbing up that Super League table. And I had to sign this guy. His name is Marcus Godinho. Godinho. That is one of the coolest last names I have ever seen. Is there any way I can legally change my last name to Jared Godinho? Also, even if we do get a transfer offer for Zhao Z, there is no way that I'm accepting that. I just want to leave season two and three, maybe even four, depending on how good we are, to just grow. It is all about getting that dynamic play potential above 58 and just keep on growing. Player of the year announced is it going to be us? No, it's Jao Felix. Is he? Yeah, he's still at Atletico Madrid in this. We are, we've got a long way to go. We have more than tripled our goal scoring tally and 
assist tally as well from season one. This is great to see. We've gone up four overall, but we have bagged ourselves seven goals this year, which I'm sure is going to have a good impact next year in terms of the dynamic player potential that is. Fingers crossed. Also, we do have five-star skill moves along with five-star weak foot, so we should be bagging goals left, right, and center now. Still, though, we finish eighth in the Chinese Super League. Shandong winning the league. I want that title. Cristiano Ronaldo winning an Asian Champions League title, though. There is movement. Ladies and gentlemen, I repeat, there is movement. Our dynamic player potential has gone from 58 to drum roll 60. It's only a little bit of growth, but it's growth nonetheless, and it is a step in the right direction. It would actually be phenomenal if we could get up to 60 overall this season, plus four growth. That would continue the pattern we've been seeing. But for me, the biggest goal this year is double digits in the goal scoring tally. And don't worry, lads, we are continuing to upgrade the squad. This is the strongest team we've had all video long. Surely we're going to get that 10 goal mark and surely we're going to finish higher than bloody eighth in the league. Season three, Harland is going to win his second Ballon d'Or. That is mad. He's 94 rated. Nah, Harland's going to be here for our whole career. Nah, nah, you are kidding me. We've only scored two goals this entire season. Oh, I mean, we got ourselves up three overall to 59, but only two over two goals is going to ruin our dynamic player potential. Maybe not next season, but the season after. After, that is a huge blow. Despite us having a stinker of a season at striker, Habai FC, we've gotten ourselves up to third. I'm hoping it's just a bump in the road, but in season number four, we need to get ourselves to a next level. Yeah, it's happened. This should come as no surprise to anybody. Our potential has stayed at a 60. This is the most important season we are going to have for Zalzi's career. If we're gonna even have any chance of getting ourselves in Ballon d'Or contention, we need a belter of a year. I'm talking 10, 15 goals, a league title, growth. This truly is do or die. Originally, this was the season that I intended on transfer listing Zhao Zi and leaving China. But we have not developed nearly as much as we hoped. And we are going to sign this young Englishman, Kai Bishop, as a way to bolster the starting 11s overall. Come on, Zhao. Do yourself proud. Get yourself into the 60s and score some goals. Okay, Vinicius has won the season four 2025 Ballon d'Or. We've only got, what, 30 plus overall in until we're at his level, oh my God. We have scored seven goals this season. It is not the superstar season that we wanted. I wanted something similar to Callum McCowett, but it is better than last year's disaster. I am so curious though, to see what our dynamic player potential is looking like next year. The big question though, ladies and gentlemen, have we won the Chinese Super League? We have finished second on 61 points. Two of our superstar players in our goalkeeper and Ryan Thomas are walking away from the club next year, though. Maybe it's time we should as well. Our mediocre season has seen mediocre growth, but it is growth nonetheless. We have kicked past the dynamic player potential. And with Zhao Z, we now have 66 potential. But my God, we're going to have to have a Jamie Vardy-like career. I am going to add us to the transfer list, though, and see if any tempting offers come through that will make sense to leave the Chinese Super League. It is our player's dream, though to play for Manchester United. So not only do we want to win the Ballon d'Or, but it would be a dream if we could do it playing for the Red Devils. This squad has taken a massive hit though with those player departures. So we're going to have to, we don't even have a single goalkeeper in the squad. We have received a transfer offer. It is from the Saudi Arabian League. Al Fateh want to sign Zalze, but that is one I'm going to reject. But we have picked up some improvements to the starting 11. A new goalkeeper in Bardi, a new center midfielder in Jamie Allen. But wait until you see this, we have signed 24 year old Tino Anduran on a free transfer. My guy is 77 overall. Don't steal goals from me, please, Tino. Just feed them to me. Ooh, ooh, AFC Wimbledon. AFC Wimbledon have come in for Zalzie. I am accepting that one. If we could be low in the English pyramid, but not because when you think about it, the Chinese Super League has some high quality teams, it would be phenomenal to go to Wimbledon and dominate English football. One step closer to Manchester United, and most importantly, one step closer to a Ballon d'Or. And there it is, lads. It has gone through. Zalzier is off 
to AFC Wimbledon for 490,000 pounds. And that means so are we. Did you guys ever think you'd see Chavi managing AFC Wimbledon? Because I know for sure I didn't. We need life at Wimbledon to be glorious. This team is, it's okay, but we need Zalzier to score goals for fun. If you're a striker at a team that gets taken over by Jared HD slash Chavi, I hope you just know that you're about to be a free agent because that's exactly what's happening to all three of these lads. And because we've gone from Chinese to English football, we've jumped in halfway through the season and we are in a relegation battle with Wimbledon. Yo! Yo! Why did we stay in China for so long? We have gone absolutely berserk in only 17 appearances at AFC Wimbledon this season because we came in halfway through the year. We have already broken our career best season, have gone up five overall, 12 goals, and we're 66 rated. Is this the half of the season we needed to get our career on track? We have also played a crucial, crucial role in keeping AFC Wimbledon in the English third division. 51 points, we stay in the third division. Although one part of me is kind of like, I wish we got relegated so that we could just absolutely tear up League Two. I am so excited to see what a full season at AFC Wimbledon can bring for us. The one downside to transferring clubs is that your dynamic player potential stops for that year. So we remain a 66 overall. I am genuinely interested to see whether our dynamic player potential increases through the season or if our overall can even increase. But to be fair, for me, this season is all about, like, I want, if we got 12 goals in half a year, why not push for 20 plus this year? and really burst onto the scene. And of course, we had to get some upgrades to the starting 11. It's not many upgrades, but it's upgrades nonetheless. But lads, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. Really interested in making more videos like this one if you enjoy it. Killian Mbappe, I'm genuinely surprised. This is the first Ballon d'Or we've seen Killian Mbappe win in this video, but I'm fairly confident it's not gonna be. Look at these stats. There's just 99s all over the board. This season has been such a trip out. So we haven't gone up a single overall, but the silver lining is that we've got 21 goals. We have scored 21 goals this year. That is bound to have helped our dynamic potential significantly. 21 goals. I'm about to check the league table and it's, is it kind of bad that I hope that we either got relegated or just didn't get promoted? Sorry Wimbledon fans, I gave you your real rebuild two weeks ago. Mid table in league one. You know what? I can live with that as long as we keep bagging our 20 plus goals. Oh yes, we've got hope. There is hope. The dynamic potential no longer sits stagnant at 66. After our 21 goal season, we are now having potential of 73. I mean, the clock is still definitely against us, but there is hope. Please now, I am begging you, have another 20 plus goal season. Your career and Ballon d'Or hopes depend on it. If we can get ourselves another 20 plus goal season, maybe Manchester United will be looking at us. We are starting to get some interest though from around the grounds. The French League, Dijon, wanting us for two million pounds, but there is no way I'm leaving Wimbledon this year. Some new additions to our starting 11 here at Wimbledon, because of course, I want this team to be strong, but not strong enough to get us promoted. If we could like make the playoff final every year, so we get an extra four games or whatever to our season, which is four more opportunities to score goals, I'm cool with that. I mean, of course, as long as we lose those playoff games. Player of the year announced, and it is Haaland for the third time. Erling Haaland is killing it. I'm loving this now, but I just know if we ever get ourselves in the picture to win a Ballon d'Or, this dude is going to annoy the crap out of me. 15 goals this year. It's not quite the season we had last year. Of course, the guy that I signed as a free agent at the start of the year scores more goals and gets more assists than us. That, that would be right. But the thing that I'm very happy about is the fact that we've gone up six overall this season to a 72 at age 24. I'm hoping with the fact that we've got 36 goals over the past two seasons, the dynamic player potential reacts accordingly and we can get ourselves to that next level for season number. I think I've lost count. I might just have to get rid of Carlos Mateo Abastaflor though. Now that is interesting. I thought for sure we were gonna be up near the promotion battle, but we have finished one place above relegation to lead two. I was not expecting that. Okay. Like I've 
said, though, I mean, if we can keep getting 15, 20 goals a season, I genuinely don't care if we get relegated. Our man at Bastafloor, whose contract expires in one month, got player of the month. I want us getting player of the month, not our teammate, us. Although, I mean, we got manager of the month, so that's a big win. I'm going to do the right thing, though, and give a Bastafloor another one-year deal. Our teammate and my fellow Australian, Arlo Bryant, is having an insane season as well and growing like crazy. I am genuinely so excited to find out if our dynamic player potential has gone solid. So let's get into the next season, 2028, and find out the answer. This is good. This is exactly what we were after. I wasn't sure whether we're going to go up one overall or 10. We have fallen right in the middle. Our dynamic player potential currently sits at a 78. If we can have another great season, there is no reason why we won't be up into that next level of striker and really start to become a household name. A new starting goalkeeper all the way from Bosnia into the squad since we lost our starter from last year. But besides that, I really don't want that many changes to the squad this year. I'm happy with barely surviving relegation. Player of the year announced. I'm going to go on a hint and say, no, I was going to say Vlahovic, but it's another one from Mbappe. I told you guys we'd be seeing him again during this video. Also, I have added Zalzi here in January to the transfer list. Out of curiosity, I just wanted to see what sort of clubs would be coming in for him. Sampdoria would be a nice upgrade, but at the moment, I am happy just getting the stats up and getting the potential up at Wimbledon. Not only is Zhao Z a wanted man, Xavi slash me, we're wanted. Sporting want us as their manager. I'm staying at Wimbledon. Zhao Z A, come on, you beautiful man. 76 overall. Not our potential yet, but I'm hoping again. 18, like we have really become consistent goal scorer ever since signing on at AFC Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Joining Wimbledon changed the trajectory of our career. We're 25 years of age right now, 76 overall. We need to be making some big steps though to get ourselves up into the 80s and up into maybe the 90s to get ourselves as a Ballon d'Or contender. No disrespect to our main man, Abasta Floor as well though, but I'm really happy to see we got more goals than you. He might be on his own little journey towards a potential Ballon d'Or. Oh no, I fear I may be too good of a manager. We have been promoted on a Automatically to the championship with Wimbledon. Oh, this is what I was trying to avoid. I mean, to be fair, our team is quality. The young free agent regens I got are all growing quite nicely. But are we going to be able to score 18 goals in the championship next year? I do not know. We're going to give it a go, though. Bring on the championship and bring on 2029 with Wimbledon and Zalzier. It happened. It finally happened. Our potential explosion has happened. Oh, I've been waiting for this for so long and we have gone from 78 potential to 85. That is what consistent performances in career mode this year will do. And with us in the championship, if we can have a top quality season and get ourselves into the 80s, Man United might finally be knocking on our door. But for us this year, it's about putting our head down, building a good team at Wimbledon and most importantly, getting stats galore for Zalzier. Here are the three up upgrades we've made to the side this season. Will they be enough for us to survive a relegation battle? I don't know, but we're going to try our best to really get some goals on the board and maybe stay off. This could well be the final season, though, that we have at AFC Wimbledon. It's another Ballon d'Or for Mbappe. I swear Mbappe versus Haaland is going to be this generation's Messi versus Ronaldo, though he's 30 in this save now. But I am desperately hoping and praying that we are in this conversation in the next couple of seasons. Although something tells me we're probably not going to win a Ballon d'Or playing at AFC Wimbledon. Let's go! Yes! Zalzi! Zalzie! 22 goals and he has entered the 80s. We've got seven assists as well. Al O'Brien and us are absolutely crushing it. I am genuinely over the moon. And that makes me beg the question, did we survive relegation? And the answer is with absolute ease. We almost made a push for the playoffs. Come on, Wimbledon, let's go. This has almost turned into an accidental AFC Wimbledon rebuild. Given how big our growth was last year in terms of the potential, we could 
easily have the potential in the high 80s to, no, I'm not going to say, I was going to say low 90s, but that would be, that would be unrealistic. Fingers crossed. My unrealism, unrealism comes true though. And I'm pleasantly shocked. We're ready, lads. We are ready to take the next step because our potential has shot up to 88. Yes, we are 26 years of age. We're not even in our prime yet. And we are 80 overall with 88 potential. A big year of growth would be phenomenal, but I'm also going to want to do it at another club, not AFC Wimbledon. Let's add to the transfer list and see if any big clubs come through. Hopefully one with a red devil. Watch like Salford come for us or something. Leeds United are the club that have come in for us first, but I'm going to hold off for the second and see if we can get any better offers. It also doesn't help the cause considering Leeds are one of Manchester United's biggest rivals. Oh, a few have come in. Pisa? Who is that? Watford? What? What is going on? I don't want Watford and I don't want this Pisa club. What? We are getting some weird clubs. Toulou in the French League? Nah. Club Bruges? What is going on? I mean, we could... Oh, Bruges could be a good shout because we would dominate the Belgian League. I don't want to have to deal with the swap deal stuff. Plus, if we're going to be the manager there, I want to give us the best possible chance, like the best chance of having money to succeed. 30.9, they accept, of course. If we could go to the Belgian League and just absolutely tear it up, that would be amazing. And there it is, lads. It has gone through. Zalzier is off to Club Bruges, which means so is Chavi. AFC Wimbledon, it has been an absolute honor, but I am so excited by this move to Club Bruges. Let's hope we can absolutely tear it up. Yo, this team is actually kind of nice with it. I don't, I don't mind this team at all. You all already know that we can be the only striker at the club, though. I am getting rid of all of these guys. Can't get rid of Undav because he's retiring at the end of the season. You survive now, mate. Same with Yaramchuk. Okay, we might have a little bit of competition, but we're still going to be the starting striker. I've changed the formation to make us the only striker, but I still want to make some improvements to this side, mainly in the midfield so that we can just get balls fed to us. Pause. And I mean, we do have some money to do it with, so let's make sure we get some quality midfielders into the squad. We have found ourselves a new center midfielder. It is going to be Guy, Guy, Guy Gwadesh, I'm going to say Guy, Guy Gwadesh joining us and staying in the Belgian league. He's an 80 rated center midfielder. I had to do it, lads. I have to go in for the main man himself at Bastaflor. He's at Nottingham Forest right now in this save. I would love if we could team up with him again and Nottingham Forest except 19 mil. Good to see we have scored on our club Bruges debut as well. Oh, we're getting to play Champions League football as well at Bruges. This is, this is nice. It would truly add to our legacy if we can somehow take Club Bruges to a Champions League title. Although that might be a little bit optimistic. Let's go, lads. We have been reunited with our best friend and our biggest competition, Carlos Mateo Abastaflor. Player of the year announced, and it is Kylian Mbappe once again. 95 rated. He's going to be 99 stats in everything soon. Yes! Come on, what a season. We made the right call by coming over here. We've gone up to an 84 rated striker and we have had, I believe, a career best season of 25 goals, nine assists. This is absolutely awesome. Zalzi is now a world-class striker. We also have won our first domestic title as we are champions of the Belgian League. See, I know for a fact that we actually lost in the Champions League playoffs it doesn't even show that. But the Europa League, which is what we made, we actually made it to the quarterfinals where we narrowly lost to the eventual champions in Bayern Munich. But this was an absolutely phenomenal first season at Club Rouge. Let's see if we can take it even further next year. I've checked the overall. I've checked the potential. Our current potential, it is 92. We can genuinely do this, lads. We are genuinely a chance now of achieving this dream. Just please, please, Zal, dominate again this season. Another 20, 30 goals and you're going to be in the Ballon d'Or conversation. Couple of new additions to the starting 11 as well, lads. There is genuinely no reason why we can't go back to back as Belgian league champions. I missed the cutscene, but Haaland wins another Ballon d'Or. Vinicius really just had that one year where he won it just to break up the Haaland and Mbappe show. Also, just quietly, we got out of the group in the Champions League. We might be the real deal this year. So we've got AC Milan in the round of 16. I want to follow the journey and see if we can carry Milan or carry Club Bruges rather 
to a Champions League title. The scoreline in the first leg is 2-1. It's not looking good, bruv. Come on, Zal. Have a belter. Score a hat trick and get us into the quarterfinals. Nope. No. He doesn't even score. The dream's over. It was fun while it lasted. Let's go. We actually might win a Ballon d'Or playing at Club Bruges. We have scored 40 goals. 40. Our best was 25 before this. We have got 15 more this year. We're 88 rated. Nah, this is actually cooked. Do we stay at Club Bruges next season or do we try pushing for the dream move to Manchester United? We have absolutely wiped the floor and have gone back to back as Belgian League champions. Zero losses in the championship round and only two losses in the regular season. Nah, we are a different gravy. It's growth nonetheless, but our potential has gone up to 93. It's only minor growth, but it is growth and hopefully we can hit the 90s in terms of our overall this season. Now I have been debating adding Zalze to the transfer list, but the thing is, I genuinely want to see if we can win the Ballon d'Or this season. There is a chance that we've scored 40 goals and we could be in the conversation. And I don't know if it's a rumor or a myth if or what, but I have heard in previous attempts at this that if you transfer clubs, then the game glitches out and doesn't give you a Ballon d'Or. So if we left Club Bruges this year and went to Manchester United or Real Madrid or bloody AFC Wimbledon again, we would be eliminated from Ballon d'Or contention. So I'm going to play through this year. If we don't get nominated in December, then I'm going to add ourselves to the transfer list for January. Who will be 2032's player of the year? I see it down there. The nominees, Gakpo, Mbappe, Foden and Haaland. We're not going to win the Ballon d'Or this year. I accidentally skipped past it, but I can confirm that I saw the brief cutscene. Hopefully in the edit, you can see the replay, but it was Haaland again. And because of that, we are going to add Zalzai to the transfer list and see if we can get a move away from Club Bruges and to one of Europe's big clubs in January. We've got a 113 million pound valuation as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see who can actually afford us. I'm surprised. We had an offer from Inter Milan, which I decided to reject. And then we've also had one from Leverkusen, which I am going to reject. I want to go to a club where we're just going to absolutely dominate. Like one of the top five biggest clubs in the world, which you could make a, you could make an argument for Inter Milan, but me personally, nah. Atletico Madrid have come in here for our services. Atletico Madrid want us at, I'm accepting it. I am accepting that one from Atletico Madrid. Interested whether anybody else comes in for us though. No, 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 no. Manchester United. Wait, yes, yes, Atletico. Madrid, the move broke down. Manchester United, accept that one. Please, please go through. Please, please, please do not break down. Please. This is the moment we've been dreaming about. Please give us the cutscene. Okay, I've just realized we've got literally no reserves. I'm going to go in right now and sign a bunch of free agents. I'm making sure I sign these guys today. No delegations. Pay them whatever they like. There's one in. I'm making sure I only sign strikers as well. There is no way we're stuffing up this Manchester United opportunity. All right, we've signed ourselves three new strikers. And now I'm just praying that this offer does not break down. Come on! Yes, lads! This is what we wanted to see! Not Ben Cabano leaving, but Zalzie off to Manchester United. He's the star. Marquee signing, and it is now time for Zalzie to win a Ballon d'Or as a Manchester United player. Off to Old Trafford we go. I'm so happy about this. I'm sure 10, 15 years ago, Manchester United United fans would have absolutely been losing their mind at the sight of Chavi holding up their jersey. Who is this Colin guy? Center forward. Regen, is he from like, where's he from? Like Ireland? France? Nah, that's, this isn't your throne. All right, so after playing around the side, this is how the team is looking at Manchester United and we are playing in a legit football team. Got to get this Colin guy out of here. I hope he remains on the free agents list so that he's not an issue for us in terms of the Ballon d'Or race. Need a big end to the season though. The stats are kind of skewed because we only played half a season at Manchester United. I'd be very interested to see how many goals we had in the Belgian league before we left, but in 23 appearances, 10 goals. It's a decent start to life, but obviously I expect bigger things next year. We have officially cracked the 90s as well though, which is exactly what we wanted to see. I want 
to win it all though at Manchester United and we're currently second in the Premier League. We didn't win an FA Cup. Norwich did. Man City won the Carabao Cup and Juventus won the Champions League. We were eliminated in the round of 16 to Dortmund. So we've clearly got a lot of work to do next season. But all is good. We're settling in at Old Trafford. Let's make next season our breakout with the Red Devils. No real surprises, but our potential stays at a 93 because we transferred clubs. So the goal for me this year, have an unbelievable season on the pitch that can get us in Ballon d'Or contention and also hit that 93 overall mark. That is the two goals for this year. Who will be 2033's player of the year? Yeah, no surprise that we are not nominated. Next season though, I want to be in the conversation. Player of the year announced and it is another, I've lost track. How many Ballon d'Ors is that for Erling Haaland? He's decreasing in overall, which is nice to see, but this dude is just absolutely cleaning it up. Also, I did notice that Mbappe wasn't nominated this year. Come on. Oh, I'm actually gassed. We have entered not only the dirty 30s in our age, but the dirty 30s in the goal scoring column. 35 goals, 93 overall. Somebody, FIFA, whoever looks after the Ballon d'Or, nominate my man, nominate us. See, we deserve it now. Get Holland out of here. Get Mbappe, Vlahovic, all these guys out of here and give it to Zal Zaya. Man City still getting above us though in the Premier League title race. Why are some weird ass teams making the FA Cup finals? Watford make, we have not doing well with Man United. Please tell me we did better in the Champions League. I mean, you could argue we did better than last year. I'm so curious though, to see if we can get ourselves a Ballon d'Or. Nah, that's just silly. That is just silly. Our potential has gone up. Not to 94, not to five, not to six, 97. Our potential is 97. We are 93 rated. Our status is one of the world's best. Give us the trophy that signifies we are the world's best. Who will be 2034's player of the year? Are we nominated? Are we nominated? Yes, we are. We're nominated. We're, you can barely see us right above me right there. So it's between Haaland, Ansu Fati, Phil Foden or Zal Zia. Are we gonna complete it and win the Ballon d'Or? I'm genuinely bricking it, lads. Player of the year, player of the year, player of the year, player of the year. No! Oh, it's Haaland again. Haaland has won the Ballon d'Or again. Are you taking the piss? The growth is unbelievable. The growth is amazing. We have 95 overall. So we're higher rated than Haaland now. We're probably the highest rated player in FIFA 23 in the game. We've bagged ourselves 32 goals though. 35 wasn't enough to get us a Ballon d'Or this year. So I'm really curious to see whether it is next year. We have genuinely had a stinker in the Premier League this season. We're not even playing Champions League football next year. Low key Chelsea almost got relegated. We lost the community shield at the start of the season. Man City are just tearing it up. Yeah, they've done literally the quad. How has Blackburn made the final? No. Oh, we could have had our first Champions League title, but we've lost in the final to Juve. We've not just lost, we've been slapped up. Will the 2035 season be the year that we can win the Ballon d'Or? God, I'm actually praying. We're low key running out of seasons as well because the manager's gonna retire after what, 15 years I think it is? So we're on a little bit of a time crunch, fingers crossed. Our potential is starting to stall though. We have stayed at a 97 potential. We're currently 95 rated. Very interested to see if we can hit that 97 marker this year. But let's go check out the Ballon d'Or nominees. Please tell me we're nominated again, please. There we are, yes we are. So it's Haaland, Manga, who the hell is Manga? Cherky and Zalzier. Let's go check out this Manga guy. It looks like he plays for Liverpool. Boubacar Manga, Senegalese, 90 rated center forward. One of the world's best. If we lose the Ballon d'Or to this guy, I'm going to cry. Player of the year announced. Player of the year announced. Please, please, please. Yes, we have done it. Oh, it's beautiful. Zalzier at 96 overall has gone from the worst player in FIFA 23 to a Ballon d'Or winner. Oh, it is beautiful to see. Lads, this was an absolute journey. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you click here to subscribe and click here to watch another video. Love ya.